Hello everyone and welcome to another fan fucking adventure. I don't know why I said it's so weird. I'm here with Zenrod. <laughs> Hi. I'm and here for the fan fucking adventure. The fan fucking adventure. We're here with Dokkan. What? <laughs> it's the one yeah, game. Was, yeah, what the fuck, right? Um, so recently we were talking about the fact that we don't have any video series anymore that is just very quick to record. <laughs> and then I realized that I technically also play Dokkan. So we can just do a Dokkan thing real quick. Uh, Zen cannot see my screen, so I'm going to explain to him the team I'm using. This is a team not fully done, because it's going to be used for something later down the road, so I wanted to test it out. We're going to be doing the Vegeta event, and this is the team. Are you ready, Zen? Are you ready for this breakdown? I'm ready. It is Kid Goku, LR Aurelian Kid Goku, Physical Aureli, Tech Bulla, Physical K Kid Chi Chi, and then Physical Pan. <laughs> That is. So I'm gonna. We're gonna be doing the Vegeta event. Do I actually need to bring in like a Ghost Usher and other stuff, or is Bulma and Ox King gonna be enough? That's probably gonna be enough. All right, let's do it. Uh, so here's the funny thing that I realized. I did not know this about this Vegeta. His weakness is copy Vegeta, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense to me. It is a little on the weird side. Like, what's the fuck, right? Yeah, I think it's specifically just because copy Vegeta has like an anti Vegeta passive built into him. So. I don't know. I guess they use that. That makes sense. It does. Well, yeah, we're going to beat the shit out of Vegeta using a bunch of kids. That should be fun. And also, I was able to pull Kid Goku, so I'm just real happy about the situation. Uh, again, Zen can't see any of my screen, so I'm just going to have to explain to him what's going on. And, uh, yeah, he's going to have to narrate. So, uh, first up, we got LR, Kid Goku, and Aureli. They're going to be in the first plot. And then we got Physical Pan, and then we have Kid Goku. Uh, hmm. actually, I'm gonna start with Pan, so she can super and make Aurelia and Kid Goku even stronger. Because <laughs> my actual end goal here is to show off the fact that they are stupid strong. <laughs> that is good. Yeah. The one thing that's kind of annoying about LR, Kid Goku, and Aureli is the fact that they get a bonus for being in the first spot. But then, there's no unit that activates all their links. So... You actually lose oh, out on that. Is so. annoying. Yeah, so I feel like if a unit has that specific passive, and Vegeta died in one hit to the LR <laughs> Goku and Aureli, so next form, we get the shit taking Super Vegeta. Everyone's favorite. As uh, is that the is that the one that looks like he got blown up with like a fucking bike tire <laughs> inflating thing? Yes, it does. Uh, this rotation we got Kid Goku, Kid Chi Chi, and Physic and uh, Aureli. I'm gonna go start with. Kid Goku, because he can take a fucking punch from Vegeta. He doesn't give a fuck. And then Chi-Chi will <laughs> be there for the massive damage right afterwards and finish it off with Aureli. Got a bunch of rainbow orbs in there, but, uh, you know, not 100. Oh, he's going to start by supering. He's going to super a child. You bastard. What an asshole. <laughs> Unbelievable asshole. Kid Goku takes it in the face and he's like, whatever, here's a fucking trick, Kamehameha. I love that if you continuously redo it with the enemy <laughs> using that move... It makes it seem like they're the biggest dumbass in the world because Goku keeps tricking them with the damn move. Every single time. They never learn. They never learn the damn lesson. Alright. Uh, Rayleigh was not able to fin- Oh, wait! She got an additional attack and she's going to be able to finish ah. off Vegeta. Finish off Vegeta. Damn it! She did the 100% Nichao cannon, but it was not enough. But it's yeah. fine. Cause not even- It's supposed to be cannon. Exactly. Can't even be cannon? Can't even be cannon. I'm just going to finish her off with uh, LR, and then we'll go on to the next stage. Uh, so far, so far, so far, pretty easy. I also think I'm below 59% health because of the super that Int Goku took by the physical Vegeta. <laughs> oh, crit. Two million crit. I just love the fact that Aureli just cheers on in victory <laughs> as Vegeta gets blown to shit. Oh, he's... Her little bounce up and down happy animation. Oh yeah, it's the best. And of course, he's still physical, which is a real problem when I have a double rotation of Kid Goku and Chi Chi. But I'm just gonna throw a Bulma and Ox King. Just be like, fuck it, because I think Kid Goku gets an extreme defense boost when um, he's under these conditions. So I'll be fine. If I die from this, I think it'll be pretty funny, considering how much shit I've been talking on Vegeta. <laughs> but let's see. <laughs> That would be pretty funny. Yeah, it would be, uh, you know, it'd be fitting. I also want to say while we're fighting Vegeta, shout out to Penta. <laughs> shout out to the second. He's going to fucking super kid Goku again? You piece of shit. Why would you do this? 
Uh, he only did like 4,000, though. Vegeta, dude. Why, why wouldn't he do this? I hope Kid Chi-Chi stuns. Stun! Stun! Nah, he didn't get stunned. So, Kid yeah. Chi-Chi, by the way, so you, just so you, I'm not sure if you knew, um, she gets 180% uh, attack boost when doing a super attack, but when she gets hit once, she suffers minus sixty percent attack for three turns. <laughs> so did not know that she's very kind of this bad. Yeah, she's uh she's very strong, but the second she gets hit, you run into a lot of problems. Um, let me see, Kid Goku, uh, Kid Goku and Aureli is here with actual Aureli, so let's see how much damage they can do. I think they can kill off. It was able to get four rainbow orbs, so he she she should Vegeta should die this turn. There's no way he's surviving this, and if he does survive this, then I'll be very shocked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully he does not. Man, I mean that's my hope. My hope in general is that Vegeta dies. <laughs> that Vegeta just dies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, three million. <laughs> so he's dead with a crit. But now we have probably the easiestly sexiest Vegeta. We have Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Hmm. I don't think he looks as good as his Legends part, though. Oh. Kid Goku has his, uh, um, uh, his active skill. So now we're going to see him punch through the shit out of Vegeta. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love, I love that animation. This, I, this, this animation is the greatest thing Dokkan has ever done. It's so good. The fact that they they do a close up on his fucking Finch cl clenching down as he's like, "Fuck you, Vegeta," and then he gets punched. He needed to carry that energy more in the, in the actual series. Oh yeah, and he did a big ass crit. That's almost half his health gone. Now here's a question: Is my Ox King and no, I can use Ox King. I think I'll be fine with just one single Ox King. So I want to save it so specifically the next Goku has his um has his uh ult ready. Alt ready and ready to launch. It's probably good. Yeah, I had no idea that uh, this Vegeta would have so much physical. He's only doing eleven damage to Kid Goku, by the way, with Ox King. <laughs> oh, that's great! I fucking love this Kid Goku so much. And also, he gets a guaranteed crit because he's that has done maybe ever. Yes. Also, he got a guaranteed crit because uh, he got a guaranteed crit because um. Uh, when he's below 59%, he just guarantees crits him all the time. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so when Go when Kid Goku is below 59% um, HP, he gets a guaranteed crit. But if you use his... He also gets his uh, active skill at 59%, so you can actually just use the active skill, get a crit off the active skill, and then still use his special and get a crit. What the fuck? It's <laughs> really good. Yeah, he's a... Uh... Again, he's really good. Now, let me see if Kid Goku, the strongest Kid Goku rotation we have. So I want to say it's somewhere in the middle. Hmm. Trying to find, like, the right rotation so that everyone gets super powerful. I think this is it. Uh, okay, gonna you. No, damn it. So this is the problem with Dokkan when I start to suddenly care about my rotations. <laughs> Oh yeah, where you have to actually try. That is the bad side. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to see like whether or not we should get the full out of Kid Goku's power. Actually, you know what? If I use his active skill in the middle, he'll have the most power in him. But then I can just switch him to the third slot, and then he can just stay there. Oh yeah, that's true. So you can just let him do his thing on his own time. Exactly. I should have used the Bulma so he would have had more um, attack in this punch. But it's fine. God, such a good animation. It is. It really is. Oh, so strong. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think this right here would be good. I'm gonna use Bulma because I want to keep the guaranteed crit on Kid Goku. That right there. Oh, this is unfortunate. I didn't see this uh, issue showing up. Hmm. You sound good. No, I think we'll be fine. No, I can't super seal him or anything. Uh, the main problem was that I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna be able to use LR Kid Goku's and Aurelia's. Um, I, I didn't have enough rainbow orbs. So, so their damage is really dependent on whether or not you have enough rainbow orbs, and I just didn't have enough. But they're gonna do their first special, so they're just gonna throw a fucking rocket Vegeta <laughs> as he team rockets uh, blasts away. 
Oh, he's gonna try and fucking special attack Kid Goku and Aureli? They're gonna survive this, Vegeta. You're out of your league. You can't punch these kids. Oh, did I die? No, I did not die. <laughs> Kid Goku, you just need to live. <laughs> Don't get special attacked again. <laughs> or actually finish it with a crit. Finish it with a crit. Finish it with a crit. Oh, go. Oh, go, go, go. no! <laughs> no. Okay, he's not taking a lot of damage. Uh, oh, oh, can I finish this off with Chi Chi? <laughs> that would be... That's the best way to do it. All You're right. going to have to do it that way. I'm going to have to heal. I have no more items, so I have to hope that if he special attacks, it's not going to do a lot of damage. But let's see if Kid Chi Chi can just finish this fucking fight. And if not, it will be Kid Goku. Let's come on. Chi Chi. Do it. Oh, Chi Chi took so much damage from that one punch. <laughs> Come on, kill him. Kill him. And he's dead. That is it for Vegeta. He's taken down by Kid Chi Chi. That really sucks to be Vegeta all the time. It does. So with that, uh, we're good for a video. That was a Dokkan videos, and you didn't see any of the action, but you got to hear my play-by-play. -play. Yeah, I got to experience it in a very unique way. Yeah, so it was a very it's a visual experience. It's like the old radio <laughs> show. It's like the old radio shows. Yeah, where I'd, exactly. Where I'd be like, rrr, 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 rrr. and just to show that that was the first time I did it, here's the one stone clear I got. <laughs> so we'll see you guys on the next uh, whatever is going to show up for the next fucking adventure. There you go. Just lean into the catchphrase. Oh, fucking adventure. Uh, so we'll see you on the yeah, next. Yeah, you really got to make it stick. Gotta yeah, point it. I got to go. join us for the next fucking mystical adventure. Find oh. them, yeah. Find them, Dragon Balls. <laughs> <laughs>